I'm Jim Meskimen, and I wrote a poem about what it feels like to be an Impressionist. Is anything more sad and lame, contemptible, beneath disdain, in short, provoking of disgust, than being an Impressionist? A third-rate, even fourth-rate skill. The definition of cheap thrill. Like watching farm equipment rust is watching an Impressionist. Relic from a distant day that long since should have died away, dishonorably mentioned is the pitiful Impressionist. Weird and slightly ostentatious, tired debris from an old Las Vegas, whose former fans have long dismissed allegiance to Impressionists. <sighs> How many opportunities passed up and wasted because he's Hell bound to follow what he must. Pity the poor Impressionist. Doomed to live an abject failure. <laughs> Dogged by his own echolalia. Better to crumble into dust than wind up an Impressionist. His borrowed voices can't deflect a life of well-deserved neglect. His name's on simply no one's lips. <laughs> Forgotten, vain, impressionist. That sound, did anybody moan? That creature with the microphone. Is last on everybody's list. Forgettable impressionist. When uh, Peter at that shiny gate <laughs> condemns those, those souls who imitate, he will but shake a heavenly fist and curse condemned impressionists. But uh, until that time, we'll tolerate the good-for-nothing reprobate. And hide the truth that, that we're just pissed that we can't be Impressionists. Huh.